Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would share with you a really quick what's in my bag. I'm using the Little Hipster in the Bahama Bay color with my Shore Thing Turtle Bag Charm. I also have with me today my um, my custom small Vera tote in the pattern Java Purple with all of my, you know, my bigger items, but I decided today, uh, since I'm gonna run a couple of errands, I would only need um, my absolute necessities and I got it all to fit in here with, as you can see, a lot of room to spare. And another reason why I wanted to do what's in my bag um, with this little hipster, not only because I love the color Bahama Bay, I organized it a little bit differently this time and I found that when I'm using the little hipster, this might be my key organization tactic the way I did this. So I wanted to share that with you. So first, I do have the matching Shore Thing turtle bag charm. This is the one that I showed the other day in my video that opens up with the zipper. I do not have anything in here currently. My pocket back hand sanitizer does not fit. I think what I might use this for, uh, maybe jewelry, which I don't re really even wear that that much, but just little trinket items as I, you know, come up with it in the future. I'll probably put items like that in there, but I couldn't resist pairing these two together because I'm pretty sure Bahama Bay came out when Shore Thing came out, um, or at least somewhere around there. And if not, they go together really well, so I just thought it would be kind of cute to put the bag charm on there, and I just clipped it onto the metal hardware on the right side of the bag since there is no metal hardware on this left side here. So with the back pocket and you can see that interior pattern, I think it's okay. Um, it's just another variation of the pink microfiber pattern, excuse me, um, sorry about that. It's another variation of the pink microfiber pattern that's in like every microfiber Vera Bradley bag from the past couple of years. So this is just a version with um, the blue and the red and the gray. I think it's okay, but I am looking forward to the day when Vera Bradley does switch up that interior pattern. Maybe they have already. I just don't get microfiber items that often to know, but I hope one day they do kind of switch up that pattern because I know they've been using it for a little while now. Um, what I will say, this version is the one that has the charging grommet and it does not have the magnetic closure. I do find myself missing that just a little bit. Not a ton, but just a little bit. Um, I'm just used to that nice snapped pocket. But just know this, typically if you have the bag stuffed full, and I don't have it as stuffed as it could be, that the, ma the ones with the magnets sometimes have trouble meeting anyway. So I think that's fine. I am filming with my phone. It is the iPhone 10 original size, and it does fit back here perfectly. And then in the front pocket here, we do have the hard rough metal zipper. I notice it's been working okay for me so far. Haven't had too much trouble with it at all. Um, and we do have the leather um, loops, or the pleather, I should say, on the zipper pulls. So that zips right around from this end like that. And in here, I decided to keep all of my cosmetic type items because I thought this... You know, there is an interior zipper pocket in this purse, but I thought this pocket might even be better for all of that kind of stuff. And I think I really like having, try not to spill it all out, but I think I really like having all of that stuff in this pocket. So just a quick run through, same stuff I usually carry. I've got my pack of tissues, and then you can kind of just see everything else. I've got hand, two hand sanitizers in there, chapstick, pack of gum. I've got some band-aids, a little pair of scissors, some Tylenol and this uh, cute mini bottle of lotion that um, a seller included in one of my Vera Bradley purchases. I think that's really cute. And I always use in lotion, so that's perfect for me. And there is a pen down in there at the bottom too. So I just really like that for all of that stuff because it doesn't infringe on the main pocket space at all. So that is perfect in there. And that is like easily accessible thing. I feel like I am always reaching for Especially nowadays, you know, the hand sanitizers, the chapsticks, the lotions, the uh, nail clippers, nail file, if I have like a hang nail or something like that. And it doesn't bulge out very much at all. Oh, and I don't, I don't know if you noticed, but this is a bag style that comes with a built-in wallet in this front pocket. Well, I 
don't care for those so I did cut it out so you can see the back pattern there there usually is a built-in money slot with some card slots on top that is gone because I find more value in putting other items in there rather than using the built-in wallet in the main interior you'll see that there is a back privacy zipper pocket with the Vera Bradley nylon nameplate in the privacy pocket I watch a lot of Warthog Princess and um, she said that this is called a privacy pocket so I'm starting to pick up on her terminology there um, so in that privacy pocket I do have just two things I have a mask and my pair of sunglasses are down there too and I do like to keep my sunglasses in that pocket because it eliminates the bulk of having to use a case and you know it's protected by the zipper and I've got the soft mask in there kind of topping it off so it's not gonna you know roll around or get scratched or anything like that in the main interior of the bag you could see I have a lot more room to put more items in there see look at that I still have that whole top section that I could you know I could throw my sunglasses in there if I wanted to but um, I kind of like that this is nice and open and I can see basically my four or five main items that I'm always after one being um, my bigger bottle of lotion and I just kind of threw it in there because I was using it real quick and I just kind of threw it in the main interior doesn't matter I'm not that picky about stuff um, my headphones my airpods which I need to get a new case for that well I don't need to but I noticed it's like one of those rubber cases and it's starting to peel really hard to see in the video because it's kind of light colored but it's starting to peel and shed in all of my bags I'm I noticed I think I was using my Mandy at the time and there's like these little white pieces of rubber that's starting to come off of it I mean I paid next to nothing for the case so I probably should get like a hard case or something so it doesn't shed in the in my purses I've got the car keys and I've got my zip ID the one I am using today is the beautiful Bloomberry zip ID and lanyard together so I kind of roll that up like that just so the lanyard's not flying about in there. But that is what I've got. Oh, and I do sometimes do this. I definitely do this in my tote and handbags. I have the lanyard sticking out. So that way I can close it still. I can close the bag, but I have my lanyard there. This is a small bag, so it's not like I'm digging around for my wallet or anything, but it's just an option. I do like to do that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, anyway, that's the quick what's in my bag. Someone's starting to mow the lawn back here, so I think it's time that I <laughs> go. But that's pretty good timing because I did finish everything. So this is my little hipster in the color Bahama Bay. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.